Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In my previous video, I have showed how to connect MVC Entity Framework Connection String to Remote Database of GoDaddy. In this video, I will show you how to connect the local SQL Server Database using MVC ADO.NET Entity Framework. For this example, I am creating a new project. Go to File, New, Project. I am choosing ASP.NET Web Application .NET Framework, the version 4.6.1 and the application name is local db entity framework click ok the templates I'm choosing MVC4 ok Here we just created the new project successfully. Go to Solution Explorer, right click the models folder, add new item. In the install templates, choose the Visual C Sharp data, ADO.NET Entity Data Model. The file name is SQL Model 1, add. I want to connect to the existing database. I am choosing the first option. Click next. New connection. And the server name is, we need to provide our SQL server name. Let's switch back to my SQL server database. We will find my server name. I just opened SQL server version 12. And the server name is user hyphen pc slash sql express. This is my server name. Let's add this server name to the ADO.NET entity framework. Table I want to retrieve the employee table and these are the column names. ID, ename, location, department and age. And ID is the auto increment column. Let's flip back to my MVC application. user user hyphen pc slash backward slash sql express and choose authentication mode is windows authentication click test connection is succeeded ok connect to a database select or enter a database name i am expanding the drop down list here the loading database names and the database name is charan db i am choosing this one ok and this is my connection string charan db entities next and the version i am choosing entity framework 6 click next i am expanding the tables i am expanding the db also this is the employee table i want to return choose this one and model namespace is Charan DB model. Click finish. Now we got the employee table entities here. Go to Solution Explorer. In the models folder, all the files have been added controllers expand the controllers home controller this is a default controller when we created the project I am opening this controller using local DB entity framework which is my project name dot choose the models and in the index challenge DB entities cdb is equals to new charan db entities i just created the object for this charan db entities in the return view let's close this output from emp in cdb dot the table name is the employees table dot i want to display all records so i'm choosing the tool list method select EMP let's build the solution 
now build succeeded now we have just finished the controller part now we need to create to the index page in the action result index highlight that one right click add view the add view name leave it as it is and the template choose empty model class is the employee local db data context class turn db entities i'm not choosing any layout here but i'm choosing the reference script libraries click add and it will prompt a file with the name index already exists do you want to replace it of course yes now here we got the index new page the first thing at model we make this as a i enumerable i well. after adding the i enumerable generic collection class in the body section delete this default div I'm pasting the table here. I have just pasted a small HTML code here which contains a center element, header tags h1 and h2 and the table. And this table contains a table header, employee name, location, department and age. And to display the table here, I have used it for each method local db entity framework dot models dot employee table emp in model the column tree at emp dot ename at emp dot location at emp dot department and the last column is the age emp dot age that's it we have done the u part also let's build a solution here build succeeded let's run this project on google chrome browser And here we got the output of the employee table, employee name, location, department and age. That's it. If you like this video, please leave your valuable comment, share this video and please subscribe my channel. Catch you on my upcoming videos.